is what we are uh, going to look at data collection and representation. Okay, so that's what we are going to work through and then we see what do we get from all this as we uh, get started. All right, um, is Jenna, Zach having something or you're putting up uh, possibly by mistake? Zach? Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Okay. This is my first lesson. Oh, yeah. good. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, we uh, we shall share. You will share. We shall share with you the notes, and then for the previous topic. Okay. Sir. Uh, today we are looking at a very new topic, which I think you can catch up from the beginning with us. Thank you yes. so much for being with us. Sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, Angel, Angel. Angel, your hand is up. Good morning, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon to you. Teacher, for me, I was asking a question that I will have we finished all the all the work about fractions. Yes, please. The one we are supposed to have in senior one, the one we are supposed to cover. Okay, teacher. Thank you for the lessons. You're welcome, please. Thank you. Okay. So, um, dear members, uh, what we are supposed to have as far as our senior one coverage is concerned, that is what we're supposed to be having as far as fractions are concerned. So when you get time, get through as you simplify those numbers within what we are supposed to be covering all right um let's switch on to something else as i said we are learning something new and uh, those who are coming in uh i think zach zach has just joined us and other people who have also just joined us these learning materials and the lessons are being guide are being offered to us by three, uh, three, three groups. That is the Edify Uganda Christian Schools Association and then the IC Teachers Association of Uganda. So they are the ones collaborating together to make sure that these materials are brought to you. Okay, free of charge, actually. Okay, all you need to do is make sure you have data and then a good gadget that you're going to work with. Okay, but this is something that we need to get to know as we work through. So as I said, today our topic that we are going to look at is data collection and representation. Those of you who are writing, uh, you may possibly... Uh, Okay, the data communication mini graphing, no data collection mini graphing. We shall look at it, we shall look at it. Don't worry, Martha. We are, we are going to see what is in here, and then we, uh, we shall see. So I'm um, saying that the key important thing, our topic that we are looking at here is the data collection. Now, when we talk about data collection, we are looking at getting information together and trying to get meaning out of it, okay? So when you collect information, the data together, you know, uh, those of you who have studied the computer, in the computer, we define two terms. We, call, we define data and we also define information. Those of us who have been in the ICT lessons. When we talk about data, we say these are raw facts. Why when you talk about information, we talk about processed, processed data, okay? So what we are looking at is collecting these raw facts from different areas. Take an example, you can be told to go outside there at the village and count people. That process of you counting people, you are collecting what? You are collecting data, okay? Now, 
when you are told maybe at home, please take for us assessors. We need to know how many plates and cups we have at home. You are doing what? You are collecting data. So that is what we are going to look at. How do we, how are we supposed to collect that data and which data do we need to get at a particular time? Okay. Now, with the information, we shall look at it later. In mathematics, we are interested in the data. This is what we are interested in, collecting that given data. So, by you, you know, in mathematics, I told you we don't base so much on definitions, but we use those definitions to carry on calculations. Okay. So, if someone asks you, what is data? If I just data, these are raw facts and figures. Usually, we call them raw facts and and figures, we call these ones the data. So once you collect them and put them in, we get them and you're able to use them, we call that the, the data. So this is what we are going to look at. How do we collect that given data? Right, so um, moving on, we are saying that in mathematics, uh, what, we are, what are we looking at definite in this lesson here? In this lesson, we are going to basically look at the different types of data, okay? We are going to focus on the different types of what? Types of data that we are going to look at, okay? And we shall possibly get on to something to do, but what, what's more important that we are going to look at, how we can differentiate these two types, the, the different types of data, and also knowing the types of data. This is our objective for this lesson. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell what types of data do we have, okay? What types of data do we have in our study here, okay? I know in other subjects, like maybe geography, there also you also have different types of data there and the other subjects as well. But in mathematics, what I'm going to give you is what we need to know as far as mathematics is concerned, okay? So, and uh, so this is what we are looking at. We are going to basically look at what types of data do we have? What is the different types of data do we have? This is our main objective for this lesson. Now, to straight away start, we are looking at the types of data. Before we learn what, before we know what to collect, we first need to know the different types of data that we do have. Do we know of someone who knows the types of data? that you've ever come across by say, maybe in, in your studies, anyone who has come across types of data. Yes, Shad, it's Shadik. Uh-huh. Shall, shall we have qualitative data? We have qualitative data. Qualitative data. Uh -huh. Thank you, Sadiq. Uh -huh. Any other? Yes, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah? We have discrete qualitative data. We have discrete uh -huh. qualitative data. Qualitative data. Uh -huh. uh, that is from Isaiah. Good. Uh -huh. Another? Yes, Angel. Teacher, for me, I am. Um... Angel, we lost you. Uh, yes, Angel. Okay. We lost Angel. Um, yes, Isaac. Junju. Isaac. Yes, Isaac. Quantitative data. You also have quantitative 
Yes. Quantitative data. Okay, good. Uh-huh. Um, do we have any other? Do we have any other, any other, any other that we have? Yes, gifts and Joel. Gift and Joel. What is there? Yes, gift. Okay, they're not there. Now, so good. Members have mentioned the rightly that these are the different types of data that we do have. Now, in mathematics, we always represent them that we have one, we have two types of data, okay? In a broader sense, we have two types of data. One of the types is what we call qualitative, which someone has mentioned, qualitative. And then the other one that we have is quantitative, okay? This is what we have. We have qualitative and then quantitative. Now, qualitative is coming from, you see quality, yeah? When you see quality, this is where it's coming from. Then this one is coming from quantity. Yeah? Please don't confuse the two, quantity. So we are having these two that are producing this other one here. So one, we have what we call the qualitative data and then the quantitative data. Now, when we look at qualitative, we want to look at one by one. Quali quali we want to start with the qualitative data. Now, we say that, um, let me get someone to read for us. We say, uh, yes, uh, Martha. Martha, are you ready for us? What you can see? Is that a that is not given numerical, for example, favorite color, place of birth, favorite food, and type of car. Thank you, Martha. Now, this is what we are saying, that when we talk about qualitative type of data, is the type of data that is not given numerically. Take note of this, not given what? numerically numerical meaning it is not in numbers yeah numerical numerically it's like equal to it's not given in what in numbers okay so meaning this data is not given in numbers like maybe one or 1.2 or five or six no it can't be given in that given form Okay, so we are giving, for example, if I ask, if I ask, for example, if I'm asked someone here, if I'm asking, if I am to ask Adikin, I hope Adikin is there. If I ask Adikin, what is your favorite color? Adikin, are you there? Yes, yes. What is your, you're answering for us these questions here, all of us. What is your favorite color? Green. Green uh -huh. is my the favorite color is the favorite color is green is green so we have green what is your place of birth mm, mulago hospital uh-huh was born in the mulago hospital uh-huh then what is your favorite food irish Irish is the favorite food, which is my worst food. Okay. Mm -hmm. What type of card do you want? Do you, do you want? Uh-huh. Oh my God. <laughs> which type uh, of card do you want? Toyota. Uh-huh. This uh, wants Toyota. That is the type of car that she wants. Now, dear member, thank you, thank you, Adikin. Now, all this, you see what she has all mentioned. There is nothing like a number. Have you seen? That's how we are calling it what? Qualitative. That's why you see there is no number. You're just telling us green. 
meaning there is no any number representation. Telling us the place is telling us it is Mulago. Mulago, we are not seeing any number there. So that's why we are saying when we come to when we come to uh, qualitative data is basically that given data that that data which is not given in what it's not given numerically there are no numbers that are there we say favorite color you're saying green you're not saying any number so literally we don't have any number representation uh when you look at favorite uh, the place of birth you're just saying Mulago hospital we have no number which is related there okay and this type of data in most cases it is used to describe and in some other form we say it is descriptive yeah it's descriptive in in nature so you just tell oh your, your favorite food is irish the car you want is toyota that is all that you want so therefore when you talk about qualitative data that is how we are looking at this is what we are looking at so when they tell you to go out in the field to look for qualitative data we don't have numbers there okay when you tell you uh, give us examples of qualitative data at your home it means we are not going to get any numbers there we're just going to get descriptions of some things okay now from there we are also coming to the other second part, quantitative, okay? Quantitative, okay? Um, Rubina was also giving us her, 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 her favorite color, which is, the, I think, pink, the, the Kai is hammer, okay, and so many other things. I know all of us can answer those questions in our own different ways without giving numbers. You can't say, what is your favorite number? And you say, uh, 1,200. No, that cannot be. So literally you say a favorite car is a given item, okay? Now, we move on to the second thing, the second type of data, which we call quantitative, okay? The other one is quantitative, quantity, okay? Now, you see, you see when you go to the shop eh, and they are measuring something, and they say, how, how, what, how many kilograms are those? One? That is the quantity now. Yeah? You see now, let me give an example. Those of us who get food, eh? some of you, some of us, when you go and get food, we, when they say you, you are going to get quantity, yeah? it means you are going to fill your plate. You have your plate and you're going to fill it up with it. You're going to fill, it, fill a mountain of food. This means that you have taken what? Quantity. Those of us who move to self, self service. Huh? Then when you go there and for you only pick very small food, they say someone has picked quality or you even pick just one Irish and then you go. You say this one has picked quality. It means this one has taken a big number. The other one has only taken a small thing. So this is what we are now looking at. That is, we have quantitative data. Now we are saying, aha. Uh -huh. And uh, who is reading for us? Um, yes, Jesse, 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 Jesse. Kyle? Yes, please, teacher. Can you read for us what you're seeing on the screen? Is the type of data that is numerical. There are two types of quantitative data. Mm -hmm. Discrete data, continuous data. Good, thank you. So, welcome. Thank you, Jesse. So, we are saying that when we talk about quantitative data, we are talking about data that is numerical in nature. Okay, meaning there are numbers. We say this one is equal to what? To numbers. Can give a, this one is equal to numbers. If they said you, uh, how old are you? You say, I'm 19. Meaning, that is your age. That is now what? This is now a number. If they ask you, uh, maybe, what is your height? What's your height? You say, I am maybe two inches. It means this is now what? A number. So, that where we see numbers, we basically call it the quantitative data. Now, this quantitative data is divided in two, two forms. 
we have what you call discrete. We have discrete data and we also have continuous data. There was someone who was asking here that what is the discrete? So now this is where we are now going to learn what it is, okay? So we are saying there are two types of quantitative data, knowing that there are numbers in this number type of data, the numbers are divided up into two. We have what called the discrete type of data, okay? And we also have the continuous type of data. Now, let's look at one, one, one by one. We start with discrete. Uh -huh. uh, who is uh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Elizabeth, can you read for us? Never took of you. Elizabeth. Can you read for us? Never took of you. Elizabeth Kaima. Hey, she's over. All right. Um, let's look at uh, hey, let's look at uh, Rema, 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 Rema. Yes, Rema. Discrete data can only take spe specific numeric values, e.g., shoe size, number of brothers, number of cars. In a car park, they are fixed values. Mm -hmm. Continue. This type of data is often represented using tally charts, bar, tally charts, bar charts, or pie charts. Oh, pie charts. Now, good. Thank you. Thank you, Rama. Now, we are saying that when we talk about discrete, discrete, discrete type of data, this is the type of data that can only take specific, please take the point is specific numerical values. Meaning, if for example, we say the shoe size, if we say um, uh, who, 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 who has a shoe size, Simon Peter, Vega. Simon Peter, Vega, yes. are you there? Yeah. Uh -huh. What is your shoe size? Simon Peter. Simon Peter is measuring the, the, the feet. Eh? Okay, she's good. Let me ask Muchivi. Muchivi. Um, 44 teacher. Muchivi's shoe size is 44. Okay. You're sure? Yes, I'm very sure, teacher. Uh huh. Number of brothers. Um, one. One, one brother, uh-huh. Yes. Number of cars at home? One car, teacher. One car, okay, thank you. Thank you, Machevi. Now, this is, this is what we are looking at, that when you talk about specific, if you, if you ask someone for someone who's shoe size, okay, and the size is 44, that 44 will not become 45 in the next minute, okay? That 44 will be 44 for that specific person. When I ask you someone that, how many brothers do you have? Right now you will count how many brothers you'll be having. Don't tell me how tomorrow now we discover there's another brother. Uh -uh. When you tell me it is one, it will be one. When you say how many cars are you having, you look around and you see it is specific. That's what you mean by discrete type of data. It is data which has specific numerical, numerical values. It does not change. It remains fixed for that period of time. Okay? So that is what we mean by discrete type of data. Now we say this data is usually uh, represented using the tally charts. Okay, when like when we shall look at the this study chart, we shall look at bar graph and then pie charts. So this data here, those of you who don't know how pie charts, but I know we all know how pie charts look like. So this type of data, most cases, is represented using the what the given pie charts. 
If you go to the shop and you say, give me two kilos of sugar, they will remain two kilos of sugar is what you ordered for. So we say that it will be discrete type of what? Data. So this is data which does not change. It is fixed for that given period of time. So the key point that we need to know is it specific or fixed value. This is what we need to uh, take note of, that it does not change. Um, data it does not change at whatever uh, time that you need so um those of you who, okay let's finish this then we shall go back and then we check for those who have been off then um, another one the other second one is continuous data the other second one is continuous data um let me ask Massey. Massey, are you there yes please can you read for us Continuous data can take any numerical value, e.g. height, mass, length. Some continuous data will change over time. This data is best shown on a line graph as this type of graph can show how the data changes over a given period of time. Okay, thank you, Masi. So, this is what we are saying about continuous data, that for it, it keeps changing, okay? It can take any numerical value, okay? It keeps changing. Like for example, right now, I can ask you your height. Then tomorrow, your height has increased by something. I can ask you for your mass when you've not eaten right now at midday. Then by 2 p.m., huh, your, your mass has increased, okay? So it means it is continuous. It keeps on changing. It keeps changing at a particular time. So that is what you call the continuous type of data. Now, usually this type of data is represented using these uh, line graphs. You see these line graphs here, like for example here, if you are trying to measure maybe the temperature of a place, the temperature can be, uh, Right now, it can be low. In the next hour, it becomes high. Like for example, at this moment, it can be 40 something. Then all of a sudden it increases. Then all of a sudden it reduces like that. So literally here, this type of data, we call it its type, it's, which is it's the type of data which is continuous. It keeps changing. And these graphs here, so at times they can be maybe a straight line like that, or maybe it can be, moving downwards, it means it is reducing and so on and so forth. So this is what we call the continuous type of data. So dear members, in a summary, let's summarize this. Um, in a summary, we say we have qualitative type of data, okay? Qualitative data and qualitative data we say that data is descriptive, it describes item. It has no numerical, numerical values, okay? It has no numerical values. Then we've also looked at quantitative, quantitative data. And we are saying quantitative data has numbers, okay? It has numbers, but we say, we are also saying that quantitative data is, is in two, two forms. We have discrete type of data and also continuous type of data. And we say discrete is a fixed values, okay? Fixed values. If I ask you how many brothers do you have or sisters do you have? If there are two, there are two at that moment. But this one keeps changing, okay? This one keeps what? It keeps changing. I can ask you the temperature. Your room temperature right now can be 25 degrees. After five minutes, it goes to 26 and so on and so forth. So we say this one is continuous type of what? Type of data, okay? So this is what we have so far looked at. So there are four. We can say in our grouping, we can say we have three types of data. One, we have quantitative, quanti sorry, 
uh, we have, uh, we can summarize this. So in a summary, we are looking at three types of data, okay? We are looking at three types of data. One is a qualitative, qualitative data. Two, we are saying we have, we call this as discrete quantitative data, okay? And then the third word is a continuous quantitative data. These are the three types of data that we are going to be analyzing through our studies. These three types, these are what we are going to analyze through. Let me take some questions, if there are any. Let me take some questions about these types of data that we have looked at. And then we, let me take some questions on these types of data that we have so far looked at. Before we go and look at now examples, and then we start categorizing them. Uh, yes, Isaiah, have a question. Yes, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah. Teacher. Yes, please. What? What is? What is the meaning of hypothesis? A hypothesis. Eh? Hypothesis yes. is something that you are looking out for. Okay. If you're looking out for something, yes. find out if it is true or false. Eh? We call that a hypothesis. But we're also going to look at it at some point. Eh? I think somewhere in the bottom there, under this topic here. We're also going to look at a hypothesis. Like you collect data. If you want to know how many thieves do we have on the, on the, on the, on the, in the yes. community, you start looking out. You first collect your data, then you, you can conclude that there are either no thieves or there are this given number. So we call that a hypothesis. But we are going to look at it, Isaiah. Okay, um, Simon, Peter. Yes, Simon. Yes, Simon, Peter. Peter. Hmm. Uh, I was saying that about the uh, the dis the discrete data. Yes. You say that if if I had two sisters, I would remain with two sisters. But At that given time. Like, at that given time. Okay. Hey, for you, you are saying, what if uh, tomorrow mommy gives birth to another sister? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So meaning if, no, here we are yeah. saying, at a particular time that you have asked, it is that, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, um, I think you've got that clearly. Yes, Zach. Zach? Chair, there is a question they gave us in our exams from my school. The only way, if, if you can, if the only way if you can get it, you can, like, it's on brain. I put it there. If you can help me solve it, sir. It's on what? Brainly.com. Okay. Or check it out. All right. Um, yes, um, is it Abdallah? Abdallah, Abdallah, Abdallah. Taking questions. Teacher, I also want to know about discrete quantitative data. You say that it can be specific. It is specific, yes. Yeah. And you talked about the shoe size now. What if today I'm wearing 32 and now I'll grow? Because I will keep growing, meaning uh -huh. that the leg will also increase. Now, I will, now, uh, Abdullah, I will not wait for you to grow. Then again, I take your other one, okay? Mm. What I, if I am looking, if I'm going to the community and I am finding out shoe sizes of people at that given time, maybe in 2020, are we together? Yeah. If we are saying in 2020, we need to find out the shoe sizes of people. We shall go and then take what? The measurements. In, the, in 2020, whatever fixed number you give me, that will be the what? The shoe size. 
Okay. okay. Then okay. we shall, that's what you see, you see like, like population sensors, eh? they take for a certain uh -huh. period of time. Whether the population is, but we know that the fixed that period of time that is the population. So the same thing happens that. Then after that, if maybe after a certain period of time we shall make go back. But when you look at continuous, take an example temperature. Can you take a temperature like for example, if you take a temperature, your temperature right now, do you know that your temperature can change even in the next one minute? Okay. Yeah. So we cannot go and now say, we cannot now go and say in, in maybe in, a, in, in your family, all of you, the temperature is this, it is fixed. No, because that one is a, a changing thing. It changes every now and then because of the what? The conditions. But also this one, this could, because of the long period of growth, it takes a long period of growth. So maybe it becomes a fixed value. Okay, that's why we call it a discrete. Okay. All right, I, I think we are there. And um, maybe finally, Johnson, Claire, Daphne. Johnson, Claire, Daphne. I don't. Johnson, Claire, Daphne, Victor. Are you there? Okay. Yes. We are yes. Here. Yes. Uh huh. Your hands are up. So one. To know the meaning of the word analyze. To analyze, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what is to analyze? What is to analyze? Now, if you are to analyze, it means you are picking out, you're, you're trying to uh, pick certain details from particular type of data. Like for example, if I, if you, if we, if, if I, if you have maybe someone that is there and they tell you to analyze that someone there, meaning you are going to see the height, maybe the size, but you're picking out details about that particular item, that particular person, that particular item, you are getting details out of it. And then you make comments or you make references that so literally that is what we are looking at as analyzing so you're given particular data and you are picking out points out of that given type of data okay now dear members let's look at some examples before we are about to close let's look at some examples here now um Let's look at pick some examples now I, we are identifying these types of data that's our next task the task that we have identifying the types of data. Now, we have a database uh, that is uh, set by the, that teacher, Mr. Court, and we have certain data that is there, okay? We have uh, in uh, Mr. Okot's uh, table of that given lesson, we have people's names, we have their age, we have the primary school, what means of transport do they use to go to school, their height, and then whether they use glasses or they do not use glasses, okay? Those who put on the specs or do not put on the specs, okay? Now we need to find out. Hmm? We have questions here for us that we are going to answer together. One, when you look at this table here, Okay, when we look at our table here, please take note of our table. Uh, take note of our table. We have it here, and I hope we are looking at it. Okay, so let's look at this data. Now we are asking, what is missing in Mr. Okoti's database here? What is missing out? Um, Yes, Zach. So my battery is getting done, and the daughter has power. Hmm. Um. Yes, Ruth. What is the missing? Uh huh. One age of Frederick and Fred 
Frederick is H. Uh huh. And, and the transport that David used, the means of transport which David used to go to the, school. The means of transport David uses to go to school. Any other missing? That's all that is missing out. Okay, so that is what is missing out in our in our in our table. Uh huh. Um, next, which column contains quantitative data? From our explanations, which column contains quantitative type of data? Uh, Miracle hasn't spoken today. Yes, Miracle. Miracle. Which are the edge column? One. The edge column. Uh, the edge column. Yeah. Uh, this one is quantitative. Uh huh. I think so. So only the edge. Eh? No, and the height. And the height. This is also quantitative. Yeah. Uh huh. Do we have uh, any other? No. Nope. Why do you say so? Um, because because the quantitative data has numbers. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because quantitative data has numbers. Thank you. Yes. I I think it is clear now. So because quantitative, so we only we look at where we have the what the numbers that is where we are picking what our results from good um next question which column contains quantitative data yes jethan which one contains quantitative data uh the egg the name the name primary uh -huh. school name Primary school, this is quality. Uh -huh. Transport to school. The transport to school is quality, good. And reading glasses. And the reading classes, glasses. Good, thank you. So I, I think we have seen from here that uh, you can easily now tell that this is qualitative data, this is quantitative data, okay? So when you are given a table like that, and you are supposed to fill in, or you're supposed to put your data, you can easily tell this is qualitative, this is quantitative, this is qualitative, this is qualita quantitative. This is what we have. So there we can easily identify that given type of data. Good. Uh, next. We need to identify the following. We are not going to put them in the categories, in the different categories that we have here. So we are going to find out from the categories we are going to be given, we are going to point out which one is qualitative, which one is discrete, which one is continuous type of data. This is our last part because our time is running out. We have about 10 minutes. So um, uh, this is what we have. So we have, he, we have here. So when you have the mass, which type of data is that? When you have a mass, which type of data is that? Um, Dalton, Daniel. Dalton? Yes, Dalton. Okay, so when we have the mass, what type of data is that? Yes, Bright? Qualitative. Bright? Continuous data. Continuous qualitative data. This is continuous quantitative data. Uh huh. Good. And then, uh, Martha, uh, sorry, yes, Martha. When you have number of cars, which type of data is this? Discrete quantitative data. This is discrete quantitative data. Good. Uh -huh. uh, next, we are still identifying. We are still identifying. When we talk about the favorite football teams, 
which type of data is that? This one, is, this one goes to blessing. Blessing? Blessing, are you there? Okay. Yes, Elijah? Elijah? Qualitative data. This is it. Elijah. Elijah, uh-huh. This is a favorite football team is? Qualitative data. This is qualitative. Uh-huh. How about the price of chocolate bars? Which type of data is it? I'm still with you, Elijah. Okay, yes, come, come. Teacher, it is continuous quantitative data. This one, the price. We are the price of chocolate bars. Yes, it is continuous quantitative data. This is continuous quantitative. How about the distance from home to school? Come, come on. It is discrete qualitative quantitative data. Discrete quantitative. Uh -huh. How about if you have a number of sweets in a jar? Number of sweets. Number of sweets. Continuous. Sure. No, it is discrete quantitative that. Discrete quantitative that, uh huh. How about the color of cars? Color of a car? Color of a car. Mm -hmm. It is qualitative that. It is qualitative. Okay. Uh huh. Good. How about the amount of pocket money? Amount of pocket money? Discrete quantitative debt. It is discrete, eh? Not, it can't change, eh? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Discrete, uh-huh, discrete, uh-huh. How about we talk about, about number of pets that someone has? They are also discrete. This is also discrete. Uh, how about mass of crisps in a park? Mass. They are continuous. They are continuous. Okay. Thank you, come, come. So now in your own in your own analysis of different information, you can easily tell whether it is either qualitative, discrete quantitative, or it is continuously quantitative by looking at the definitions that we have put down. Okay? Look at the ones where you can put numbers. We say qualitative, no numbers. Okay? While discrete, numbers, but fixed. Okay? While these ones continuous, they are numbers and changing. This is, these are the definitions that we are looking at. So if you were to say color of cars, do we see any element of numbers? We do not see any elements. That's why from here, you take it under the qualitative type of data. When you talk of a distance from your home to school, when you measure that distance once, that distance won't change. It will still remain the same distance, meaning it is a number, but that number is what? That number is fixed. So that's why we say it will be a discrete quantitative type of data. So when you look at different type of information that you will try to come across, please, you make sure that you try to analyze the rule. Is it discrete continuous or is it, um, or is it, is it something which is a quantitative or qualitative? Okay, so the task that we have ahead of us, for us, this is what we are going to do as our task for the week. You are going to come up with this table here. You're going to draw on in your, in your books. Okay? 
And you're going to put, and here we are going to use members at home, yeah? people at home. At least, uh, let's put at least five members, yeah? five people, five of our people at home, okay? If you have seven, eight, please, you can add them, but the minimum is five. So you're going to put someone's name, you put the age, you put someone's favorite food, the favorite TV show, okay? The favorite, we can say maybe a favorite pop group, okay? These are singing groups, okay? Singing groups. Then the time the person spent, how much time? You ask that person, how much time did you spend on TV yesterday? And you also put that given time there in either hours or in minutes. Uh, some people watch for seconds as well. So you can also put them there. Okay. So you put at least five people. Now, as you're putting them, you specify which type of data is that, whether it is quantitative, continuous, or discrete, continuous, discrete, quantitative, or continuous, quantitative, or qualitative type of data. So you're going to come up with this table here and you put for me, the minimum is five members of, of, huh? of uh, the home, of the family people at home there. Minimum is five. But if you're 10, you can put 10. If you're 20, you can also put 20 at that given time. But the minimum should be five people. All right, let me take some questions. Um, teacher, uh, if we are three people at home, what do you do? You add some other distant cousins, about two of them, and then you put them there, if you're three at home. <laughs> okay. Um, that is for Francis, I think. Francis, you can try to do that. If you're three, you can try to look for your uh, distance, a distant relative, and then you put uh, at least two. It will be fine, it will not be bad. All right, let me take some questions before we end the, the, the class. Uh, let me take some questions before we end the class from this point. Yes, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Pardon? Yes, teacher. Your hand is up. Good afternoon, teacher. Yes, good afternoon. Okay, uh, Elizabeth will get back to us later on. Yes, Timothy. Good afternoon, teacher. Yes, teacher, I have not understood. Uh, yes, Timothy. Okay, Timothy is not there. Uh, yes, Zach. Zach's battery was going off. I don't know that it is off. Yes, Kasim Mkonga. Like, what if you, what if like you write more than 10 people in that table? I, I say the smallest number of people you should have at home is five. But if you go to 10, it is also fine. If you are 10, if I told you are 10 at home, it is fine. No problem. Uh, yes, Ruth, as we close. I just want to correct on the other part where you say the distance, on the other the slide before this one. Distance, uh, I think according to me, it's continuous data because someone can travel for about 3.5 miles. No, it we specify, Ruth, we specify the distance from home to school. Yes. Eh? If I'm, yes. at, if I'm to ask you, what is the distance from your home to school? If you tell yes. me it is 15 kilometers, then it is 15 kilometers. Tomorrow, if I ask you distance from home to school, you are still in the same home and you are still in the same school at that time. Oh. That's why we are taking it as that, yes. Okay, it's not it's oh, okay please. Um, Chibi? Yes, Michibi. Excuse me, teacher. Mm. How do we hand in work on Google Classroom? And also, okay. how, do, how do we access the previous lessons? Okay. 
we shall we are going to share we are going to share with you a link yeah, for the website where you can be able to get those details and then you'll be able to join the google classroom and then access the notes as well okay thank you teacher You're welcome all right um massive excuse me teacher hmm. how can we state Shall we on on number three part B? How shall we answer stating what the qualitative data? Shall we put the names? No, you put it at the top here. Like if it is you're putting name, you put in brackets. Either it is quantitative or qualitative. Age you put here in brackets here. That's where you're stating it from. Eh? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, um, dear members, I think we can uh, come to a close for today. And uh, uh, because that is what we needed to have for, for our class today. And uh, we've looked at how we can classify our type of data. We looked at the types of data and how we can also uh, classify them. When you get, when you're given information, you can say this is either discrete or this is a, a continuous or it is a qualitative type of data. So that's our lesson for today. Unless Mr. Charles Otto, you have something to put across. Uh, Mr. Charles, you there? Okay, 